Good morning, dear children. Today we are going to study lesson number 16, Working of United Nations. As you all know, in the previous chapter, we learned about the aims and objectives of the United Nations. In this chapter, let us see how the UN works. Organs of the United Nations There are six main organs of the United Nations. What are they? Do you know? They are General Assembly, Security Council, Secretariat, Economic and Social Council, Trusteeship Council, International Court of Justice. Now let us discuss each organ one by one. First is General Assembly. General Assembly is the main body of the United Nations. The meetings of the General Assembly are presided over by the Secretary General. It is the General Assembly which admits new members. It also makes the annual budget of the UN. Two is Security Council. The Security Council is the most powerful organ of the United Nations. Do you know what is the function of Security Council? It is the responsibility of the Security Council to maintain international peace and restore peace in areas of conflict. And do you know how many members are there? The Security Council has 15 members. Five of them are permanent members. They are USA, Russia, Britain, France and China. These five members enjoy special powers known as veto power. And do you know what the meaning of veto power? Yes, I am going to tell you now. Veto power means that any one of member or all of them can object any decision taken by the Security Council. In case of objection, the decision cannot be implemented. The remaining 10 members are elected by the General Assembly for a term of two years. Third one is Secretariat. The Secretariat is the executive branch of the United Nations. It carries out the day-to-day -day administration of the United Nations and also takes care of the UN programs and policies. The Secretary General, who is also the spokesperson of the United Nations, supervises the activities of the Secretariat. The headquarters of the Secretariat are in New York. Fourth is Economic and Social Council. This organ looks after the economic problem of the poor, illiterate, sick and hungry people. Fifth is Trusteeship Council. As all the countries are free, so today this organ is not functional. Sixth is International Court of Justice. This court advises the nation on matters of international law. It is also called the World Court. Its headquarters are located at Hague in Netherlands. Let us study about the agencies of the United Nations. Number one is UNICEF. It stands for the United Nations Children's Fund originally known as the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund. And do you know what is the function of UNICEF? It helps to control the diseases among the children. It also takes initiatives to provide education to children. And its headquarters are in New York. Next is WHO, the World Health Organization. 
helps in improving the health of the people all over the world. WHO also helps the countries to control epidemic. Its headquarters are in Geneva. ILO ILO stands for the International Labour Organization and its function is it helps the nations to improve the working conditions of the workers. It is UNESCO, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. It helps in removing illiteracy from the world. It also helps in preserving old monuments, art, culture and architecture. It protects human rights also. Its headquarters are in Paris. Next is FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization. It helps in providing food to everyone. It also provides better seeds, irrigation facilities, medicines against diseases, crop controlling facilities, etc. Its headquarters are in Rome. Achievements of the United Nations The UN has many achievements to its credit, such as many international disputes have been peacefully solved. It has prevented the use of atomic and other destructive weapons. It helps to fight against poverty, diseases and illiteracy. The efforts of its specialized agencies have benefited millions of people all over the world. So far, it has averted the Third World War. So, this is all about this chapter. Hope you all understood well. Thank you.